Welcome back to Cox Connections, a program that provides up-to-date information on events that affect you, our customers. Since 1946, when they began as the Boys Club in Newport News, Boys and Girls Clubs of the Virginia Peninsula has strived to enable all young people to realize their full potential as productive, caring, responsible citizens. Today, this organization serves more than 6,000 youth at 15 locations on the peninsula. Here to tell us about the Boys and Girls Clubs is Chief Development Officer Laurel Mangus. Welcome. Thank you so much. So, Laurel, Give us an overview of the Boys and Girls Clubs of the Virginia Peninsula. The mission of Boys and Girls Clubs is to inspire and enable all youth, especially those who need us most, to reach their full potential as productive, caring citizens. So what we do is offer after school and summer programming at 15 club sites, two thrift stores, and one workforce development center. We reach ages 6 to 18, so anyone in those ages is welcome in the clubs. And the 15 club sites are located throughout the middle and Virginia Peninsula, so up through Gloucester and Matthews, York, Williamsburg, Newport News, and Hampton. So big foot footprint yes. serving kids <laughs> on the peninsula. Um, tell me a little bit more about that, kids who need us most and what that means. Yeah, so our mission statement and our priority is to reach those kids who need us most. And a lot of times people assume that that means at risk or low income. And while yes, a lot of the youth that we serve are, 81% um, qualify for free or reduced lunch and 54% come from single parent households. But it's so much more than that. And any child can really benefit from being in the clubs. So anything from offering academic support, maybe a, a child who needs a safe place to go while their parent is at work, or a fun place to meet new friends, or just somewhere that can provide new opportunities. Great. And I know that you've um, got uh, five core areas of programming. Mm -hmm. So let's talk a little bit more about those. One thing that I was really surprised about when I started working for the organization was the wide variety of programming that the clubs offer. We battle kind of a swim and gym stereotype where you know the kids just come and play basketball after school but it's so much more than that. There's five core areas of programming as you mentioned uh, education and career development, um, healthy lifestyles, sports recreation and fitness, the arts, and education and career development. So really helping sort of the whole child Hitting Absolutely. all of those characteristics. Mm -hmm. um, there are a couple of new programs that we wanted to talk about today, one of which I'm really just interested in <laughs> um, as an extension to what the Boys and Girls Clubs does, and that's the new program based on obesity prevention. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit more about that. Our most recent strategic plan really emphasizes obesity prevention, and we're thrilled to announce these next two initiatives. One of them is the recently completed Town Bank Athletic Field. And what this is, is a multifunctional, state-of-the-art turf field we built in mid-town Newport News. Um, and it accommodates several different sports. There's a full-size football field, uh, soccer, baseball, softball, lacrosse, and even more. The field was built in partnership with Cal Ripken Senior Foundation, the City of Newport News, and Town Bank, as the name would suggest. And kind of the idea behind these parks is to provide hope and opportunity in areas of need through the sports and athletic programs offered on the field in an effort to break the cycles of gang violence and poverty. So getting the kids active, mm -hmm. which helps with the obesity prevention, but then engaging them in team sports, um, teaching them how to work together as a team, sounds like a fabulous facility. Right. There also is another program, um, the feeding program. Tell me a little bit more about that. Yes, so um, this June we were approved as a USDA feeding site. So for the first time this summer, all 15 of our clubs are feeding sites for the USDA program. And what this means is that we can provide um, healthy, nutritious meals and snacks to all of our youth at all 15 clubs throughout the summer at no additional cost to the families. So a great way to make sure that kids have definitely something nutritious to eat during mm -hmm. the day. And is the program just for the summer or is it, do you do it during the school year as well? We'll continue it into the after school program so the kids will receive a, a very um, nutritious snack after school as well. And um, workforce development you mentioned earlier as another new program. Um, how is that benefiting the children? 
So part of creating a productive citizen is helping prepare our teens for the world of work. So what our workforce development program does is focus on the soft skills they need to get and maintain a job. So they'll learn things like resume writing, interview skills, how to dress professionally, and even some financial literacy in there. And you were telling me about um, a three-month uh, employment opportunity that was new. Yes, thanks to some generous grant funding, um, this year we were able to provide three-month paid job slots at our thrift stores for several youth who were really excelling in the program. And what this means is that they got to experience a, a real workplace, but in the safety of a Boys and Girls Club's environment. So the thrift store manager and all of the employees acted as mentors to these kids as they were um, you know, learning how a workplace works. And I bet that was really impactful for the kids actually having their own paycheck that they could take Absolutely. home. Absolutely. We heard several stories. Um, one young lady decided to purchase new clothes for her whole family, and another young lady um, told the workforce development coordinator, you know, this is the first time that I'm going to school with all brand new school supplies, and you just can't beat that. Yeah, that's really wonderful. Is there a way that people can become involved with the Boys and Girls Clubs of the Virginia Peninsula? Absolutely. Um, so related to our workforce development program, that type of internship opportunity is something we're looking to continue. So anyone that's willing to open up their place of work to, you know, not necessarily a paid internship, but just to see the opportunities that are out there. And then there's always donating, but it's not just about time, or it's not just about money, it's also about time. Um, volunteers are the heart of what we do, and we wouldn't be successful without them. So anything from program volunteers in the clubs to mentoring a youth one-on-one -on -one, to stocking shelves in the thrift store or even some of our special events. So being a mentor and really being actively uh, engaged and working with the kids can really make a difference for them. Absolutely, especially one-on-one, -on -one, um, that relationship that you develop over time time um, can really make a difference in a child's life. Well, thank you so much for everything that you're doing to serve children and to help them to grow. And thanks for being here with us today. No, thank you to you and Cox for having us today. Thanks for joining me on this episode of Cox Connections. As always, I want to personally thank you for choosing Cox Communications for your entertainment information and communication needs. We know you could have chosen another provider, but because you chose us, we pledge to be a friend you can trust. We promise to provide you with innovative products backed up by a talented local team of professionals that will help you stretch your dollar. And we promise to continue to make a difference in the Hampton Roads community. From all your friends and neighbors here at Cox, we thank you again for joining us on this edition of Cox Connections.